Hey, Gemini, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of April 24th, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. All right, so there's a direct message here before I get started. It says it's not it. It's not it. Okay. Try to figure out what is not it, but it's letting you know straight up front. It's not it. It's not the answer. It's not the answer. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> now, these are general readings. Take with you what resonates. Leave what does not behind for someone else. And if you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Gemini, I see lots of people around you, uh, particularly in Aries, may or may not jump out. Hey, Miss Mora, a uh, message from Spirit says it's not it. I don't know what's not it, but it's not it. Okay. Uh, music is going to be significant to you on those this week of the 23rd. Now, that could be in the lyrics. It could be you attending a live music event. There's some new money coming in and something propelling you to move forward. I'm trying to go because it was so funny. I was shuffling when I got that message. That it's not it. It's not. It's not what you. It's not what you think, and it's not it. That is what I'm getting. Okay. So move forward. Uh, you will be reuniting or reconnecting with someone from the past, and you're also getting ready to take a trip out of state. Uh, it is a week about getting what you want. I see it more towards the end of the month. Okay. So the week of the 20th, or but more towards the end of the week. Endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. Okay. I got you. Mine was yesterday, Dana, so I totally get it. So, let's jump into this reading for Gemini and let's see what's not it. We have ooh, the Seven of Fire. So, we're starting out with the Zen card. Uh, if y'all were with me, I talked a lot about during retro, you have to do the journey inward. And this is telling me your journey inward is starting to pay off. Okay. The work that you've done on yourself is going to pay off this week of the 23rd. Thank you, Miss Dana. We have the emperor, dominant, prominent, take charge type person. Someone coming in to save the day. Some of you are buying something significant, whether it's a house or whether it's a car. I'm seeing gold and brown as the colors may resonate with someone. And we have strength. Strength on your side, no matter what you do. Now, I don't feel that this is strength because you need strength. I think it's strength through retro. Something there. Something to get you through. Okay. Hearing the lion roar. The beast coming out, right? I've had this deck for quite some time. So this is one of the things I liked about cleaning up the house of cards here. It's finding those decks I haven't touched in a long time. <coughs> the messenger of air. Okay. This comes in as that page of swords energy. Taurus may or may not resonate here. This may also represent uh, that you may have a secret admirer, someone that's getting ready to come forward, or someone's getting the, the guts to come forward. Oh, yeah. Center of the reading. Love. Center of the reading. Someone's coming forward in love. And we have the messenger of earth. This page of pentacles. Capricorn energy. Really, for whatever reason, I'm feeling that this Capricorn may resonate with you quite a bit. I feel that you might meet this person or this secret admirer may surface in somewhere you're not expecting or somewhere that you don't normally frequent. Mine you grab daily. Well, thank you, my dear. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, let's hope so. Someone of leadership has a leadership role. 
Six of fire comes into play, leading you to victory and or success. Surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. I just get this, this impression. You're in an area you're not normally in. You're in an area you're not normally in. You're somewhere you're not normally in. I don't know if any of y'all have children or something to do with cartoons or cartoon characters, but that has jumped out as well. We have the world here, as in the world is your oyster. Things are moving forward. Number 21, jumping off the card. Gemini, you got a tower. There is a tower moment here. All right. Let's get into some clarification here. What's going on with the gems? The tower is your anger, your temper. Okay. Hello, spirit. It is your anger and your temper. And it is saying, you know, this will be brief and passing. It leads to sudden changes. I've never seen a tower card that leads to something worse. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, the lovers. <laughs> intensity and love. This is whether you're single or couple, someone that mirrors one another, very deep connection. Dare I say, this could be a soulmate. Not who you think it is though. Seven of swords. Be warned of shady people. Be warned of someone lying to you. I do not feel this is connected to your love life. For some of you, it's going to be connected to your personal life. Or it's going to be connected to your job. We have the Knight of Pentacles again. Okay. Again, this is the slowest moving night in the deck. This is a good business deal. Something new to do with the job. Someone offering you a job, just maybe it's slower than what you want to see. Then we have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups tells me you might be dealing with Pisces, but there's an unexpected offer here. Unexpected offer of love. Some of you guys may be going fishing. Maybe more is out to catch the bigger fish in the sea. Who knows? On the love card comes the emperor. Dominant, prominent, take charge type person. Someone rushing in to save the day. And <laughs> we have the king of cups. King of love. That's what I refer to the king of cups. Could be dealing with the cancer energy. Someone about to make a big, legitimate proposal. Whether this is date night relationships or whatever. Someone's going to come at you right. Does that make sense? Not what you're expecting. Not what you're used to dealing with. Something different here. Strength. Second time this reading is showing you strength. Strength on your side no matter what you do. The right way. There's the right way and there's the highway. Would y'all agree? Looky here. I can't make this up on top of the world. You got the magician. Okay. Highest card in the deck says trumps your reading of you get everything you want and desire. It's right there before you. Now, let's look at this tower while this tower is here. Ten of Pentacles. Abundance. First thing I see is jealousy. This is the highest financial card in the deck. Look at you. You are surrounded by family, friends, health, wealth. You've got it all going on. This is your abundance on top of that tower. I think it's jealousy. Let's pull a couple more on this tower. I don't have a message here to extend, so let's see if I can extend while the tower's here. The moon. You know that's your divine timing card, Mora. Things lining up and falling into place. You getting ready to jump into something with both feet's got to do with the Ten of Pentacles and the Abundance. So traveling lightly, jumping into something with both feet. There's jealousy here. It's jealousy. Restoring your balance, perhaps the signing of a contract, large lease and or purchase, employment contract, anything like that. It's jealousy. Okay. You may have to call someone out. 
someone coming at you with their jealousy and you may set them straight. Center the rating bonus is your Sagittarius energy with temperance. And temperance says, you know, whatever's being offered to you, whatever Ten of Pentacles is coming into you, you generated it. You're generating it. You're manifesting it. You're drawing it into you. So jealousy surrounds you and someone wants to mouth off, you know, do what you got to do. Say what you got to say. Just say it, you know. But the temperance trumps your reading was saying that you recognize and embrace that when you do the same thing, you get the same result. So you're changing things up. You're getting a better result. Really, really good energy. I really like what I see here. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, JackieTelman.com if you're looking for personal readings. Uh, this tower is no big deal for y'all. I mean, right before it is, you've got the world and the magician sitting here. So it's not a big deal at all. Like I said, uh, you know, center your reading. Love. Radiating throughout. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Coming back with Cancer. Cancer, you are up next. Bye.